Okay, so today we're going to read a story, The Tale of Babushka. This is a Russian holiday tale. Babushka's house was just spick and span, for Babushka loved to sweep and scrub, to dust and polish and make everything just so. And Babushka's things were neat and tidy, for Babushka loved to save and store, to stitch and sew, and fill her cupboard with lovely things so nimbly made. One wintry afternoon, as Babushka was in her kitchen, peeling and chopping, mixing and stirring, there came a knock at the door. What a bother, she said as she wiped her hands, and me in the middle of all this cooking. When she opened the door, well, what a surprise! There were three tall travelers bowing low, their rich clothes glinting in the setting sun. Might you have room, they humbly asked, for us to stay this snowy night? For night is near and we've traveled far. Of course, come in, Babushka said. Then she tucked their boots by the chuckling fire and hung their hats and brushed their cloaks. She brought them bread and soup and cheese and cake and figs and home-brewed ale. Well, what's in here? Babushka asked as she lifted their bags to the attic door. Gifts for a king, the travelers whispered. A king for whom a new star shines, a king of love and a prince of peace. That night, while all of the house was sleeping, the snow clouds cleared and that same bright star shone. First the cat and then Babushka looked up to see its golden light. Look, that's the star, she told the cat. She told the dog, she told the mouse. The star that shines for the king of love, the light that shines for the prince of peace. And at once she wanted to give her gift, a gift from the heart, a gift of her hands, a gift of love. The next day came and soon the travelers were ready to set out on their way. I have gifts, said kind Babushka, for you to take to the king of love. You must come, they said, come now with us. Leave cares aside and follow the king. Oh, no, said Babushka, I'm, I'm not quite ready. I'll find your footsteps and I'll watch for the star. But first I must sweep and clean and tidy and wash and iron and brush and scrub and so much more. As Babushka worked, the hours ticked by, a snow swept day and a frosty night. When she set out, she could find no footsteps in the darkening sky were the same old stars. Oh dear, but I have my gifts and I do want to see this king. Babushka set out without guide or starlight to find the child for who the king, who was born to be king. But on the way, she saw so many children who would be so pleased by a lovely gift. So she left a gift here and here and here and here. Still she is seeking, still she is giving, and all for the sake of the king of love. The end. So that gives us something to think about. That was a Russian Christmas tale about a babushka. She's a grandma type figure. Um, and I wonder if you can think about how is this tale different from some of the Christmas tales that we know and love?